This vitamin saved a dying baby's life, and her family figured it out by looking in the encyclopedia. On the Medical Watch, a rare disorder and an easy treatment. Medical reporter Dina Bear has the latest on the discovery that could help other children with seizures. This was so hard for this family. Madeline McGuire was having constant seizures. Her doctors tried everything they could think of until her grandfather said, give her a vitamin. When Madeline first came home from the hospital, it was a dream come true. But in the first day, her parents knew something was wrong. She cried a lot, an awful lot, very irritable. And she wouldn't eat. After each feeding, she would just crunch in extreme pain. By day eight, Madeline was in crisis. She had lost weight every day since birth. She was rushed to the hospital. She was turning like a grayish blue color, and her eyes were starting to go back in her head, um, and her breathing was labored. There were, uh, you know, I would say literally 10 nurses and physicians frantically working on her to stabilize her. Uh, they intubated her to assist her breathing. And um, things looked very bleak at that point, and she continued to seize uncontrollably. No medication could stop the seizures, so Madeline was put in a drug-induced coma. Doctors had no clue what to do, until Madeline's grandfather, and also a physician, looked in this book, the 2001 edition of the Kahn's Medical Book. Opens it up to infantile seizures and sees a, par a small paragraph on paradox independency. And, uh, you know, it, it says in there, basically, that they won't respond to normal seizure medications. The mind needs B6. But the diagnosis was so rare, doctors in Milwaukee were reluctant to accept it. After about uh, seven weeks from the first time she had seizures, I uh, sent a fax to all three of her doctors. And with that, within hours, she was given uh, intravenous uh, uh, vitamin B6. And uh, from that moment on, the seizures stopped. That's when the McGuire's came to Children's Memorial Hospital in Chicago, where they confirmed she has pyridoxine dependency. The brain is overly excited because it's out of balance without B6. There is an enzyme in the brain that requires B6 as a cofactor to produce its proper action. And so increasing the B6 allows it to work better. And B6 has continued to help. No seizures. For this family, that is something to celebrate. Cheers. <laughs> Thank goodness yes. for her grandfather, right? And that yes. persistence. Now, Manny does still have some neurological deficits, but she's in therapy, and she's actually making great progress. And that's one of the reasons why her parents wanted to speak out, because they say if this had been caught mm -hmm. earlier, if she had not had so many seizures, then she actually would have been better off from the beginning. Mm -hmm. So they want others to know about it, but isn't she just adorable? Yes. She really is. Yeah. Nice to have a grandfather who's a physician. <laughs> and persistent. And persistent. Yeah, and persistent. Exactly. Thank you, Dina.